Hey everybody, Ryan here from 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast, and I'm just going to get underneath the hood of this Dan Electro 59X that I have here, really just because I'm curious to see what what's going on in here, to see if I can see, you know, some hints of what the construction of the body is like, if there's like a big route in here to like look down in the body. I want to see what the uh, the wiring and the pots and switches look like underneath. See if there's room for me to get weird with some kind of modifications. Maybe think about what kind of modifications would be fun to make this to this guitar. That's something I do a lot on this channel is modify guitars and do bad and weird things to them. This guitar's already got a lot going on for it with the uh, the coil split on the bridge pickup. So a lot of tonal options with this guitar. And I really enjoy it. But there's always more you can do with things. So I like to know what my options are. And this has a nice easy to remove pick guard that's not underneath the strings. There we go plenty of route there. There's all sorts of room right here. I could put extra switches. Hey, a kill switch if I wanted to. That's like the perfect location for a kill switch. Plenty of room down here. Let's take a look at these switches and pots. There's like a quick release thing here for the output. That's interesting. Huh. I mean, everything looks decent to me. Decent soldering. The hardware looks good enough. As far as I'm aware, I'm no connoisseur of a uh, pots and switches and whatnot, but it all looks decent to me. Let's have a look inside this body cavity. So you can see that it is some sort of layered plywood. You can see the layering right there. This definitely isn't the same kind of construction you would find in a more uh, vintage style Dan Electro, where it would be mostly hollow inside with a, uh, a masonite top on it over some framing. This is more of a, uh, a solid body guitar that just happens to be made out of layers of masonite. To me, it sounds like there's chambering around in the rest of the body though. Like around here. Like there's a strip of wood, some sort of framing going from there to there around the tail, and it's hollow. Solid there. A hollow pocket here, some sort of framing here, a hollow pocket here, and then solid again up here. And then solid in between the pickups. All right, so modding ideas. Of course, like I mentioned, I could throw a kill switch in here. Right around in this area, there's plenty of room to put one in. That black one would look pretty sharp. Uh, the uh, the trade-off here is that after I do that, you can't really take that sort of thing back. Um, I have no idea if it's possible to replace these pit guards uh, if you mess one up. I imagine I'd have to make a replacement if I decided I didn't want the kill switch today. But who doesn't want a kill switch? It does fit in there. It actually fits in there almost too perfectly. The sides that have like the little clamp on there could hold it in <laughs> into the actual wood of the body. But if I mounted this thing in here, it'd probably be with the sides sticking out those directions. 
man, that's a. It's almost like they want you to put a kill switch there with the amount of routing that they gave you. I really like the kill switch on the uh, on the Mustang that I've been working on, but I don't know if this guitar wants that. I'll need to spend some time talking to this guitar <laughs> and figure out if that's truly what it wants to do. Uh, an easy modification that would be pretty fun. I'm assuming it would be easy. Well, I'd, I'd have to desolder the pickups anyways. Um, would be to swap the location of this pickup and this pickup with each other, put the jangly, you know, like lipstick sounding uh, humbucker slash coil split single in the neck and move this P90-ish thing down to the bridge for more of a hot output from, from this guy, more of like a jangly neck sound here. So that's definitely an option. Um, I don't think I would want to swap pickups in this. I like the stock pickups. I think they go well with the guitar, but these are humbucker rings. I could put any humbuckers I wanted to in this guitar if I really wanted to. It already plays great. It sounds great. There's no reason in my opinion to do that. I don't have any uh, reason to change those out, but it is an option. It is something that someone could do. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope someone learned something that they needed to know. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, good or bad comments. I can deal with them. If you want to complain and tell me I'm awful, I'll deal with you my own way. <laughs> uh, if you really like this channel and want to support it, check out the, uh, the Patreon link here at the end of the video. Later, guys.